YouTube, long time no see, so I just thought for my first video back on YouTube since it's been a while that I would give you guys just a little bit of a travel update so it gives some background to my next videos that I'll be making. So when COVID happened, as you will have known, we were in Turkey at the time and I wanted to stop filming because we weren't really traveling the way that we're used to so I just didn't feel like there would be much really to talk about on camera for you guys. So, and then after I took my break, I actually enjoyed just not filming everything that we were doing. So I just decided to go with it and have a break, give myself a bit of a breath. And since COVID was going on, I thought it was the perfect time to do that. So a little travel update, what we've been up to. So we ended up spending a total of four months in Turkey, which was a lot longer than expected. We were actually only meant to spend about a month and a half in Turkey. And then we were meant to go to Georgia but as you know, the whole world shut down, so we didn't end up going to Georgia and we just ended up staying in Turkey for lockdown, which turned out to be really good. What's up, you too? <laughs> Carlos wants to say hi. Someone was asking if we were still together. So Aloha. Yes, we're still together. And <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we had a really great time in Turkey, even though it was locked down. And then we ended up going to Serbia because there's quite a few countries in the Balkans that were open at that time, that were opening after three months of lockdown. So we went there and we ended up spending three months in Novi Sad. So this is like the second largest city in Serbia. And we actually really enjoyed it there because I had made some friends in Turkey during our lockdown and then they also come to Serbia. Russian girls, right? Yeah, they were Russian. They're really awesome. So shout out to you guys if you're watching. Hi. And we had so many good times there. So I was just kind of like having like a normal lifestyle, I guess, of having like friends and social Girl time. Yeah. <laughs> having a little break from yeah. Carlos. Because <laughs> Carlos can be too much sometimes. He can. <laughs> And then, yes, yeah, so we had a really good time in Serbia and we started getting healthy again. Well, I don't know. Working on my Jiu Jitsu, my Capoeira. What, you, what were you working on, baby? Um, I was just doing like YouTube workouts at home. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, we decided to go to Albania, which we were actually only planning on standing, staying in Albania for three months and we extended it to five months. Because if you're American, you can stay for a whole year. So Carlos, he could stay for a whole year. I'm Brazilian. Yeah, but you're also what? American. Before we went to Albania, sorry, I'm like backtracking again. But um, before we went to Albania, I was looking at vlogs online about Albania. And I found out that there was a <laughs> Kiwi girl that lives there. Oh my and, God. Yeah. And her name's Anita, which she's really awesome. I'll pop her blog down below because she's been actually living in Albania for three years. And I thought that was so crazy because I really missed home and baby. Oh, what happened? <laughs> so yeah, it was just really nice to be in Albania and I also met some other really lovely people in the little community that we had in Saranda. So it was really nice, especially at a time like COVID where I just I really miss home, but it's kind of hard to be home, especially when I have like a partner who's not a Kiwi citizen and I just wanted that piece of home. So it was really nice to have that community and also to have another Kiwi which is like really weird to see especially in this part of the world so yeah I kind of got like my New Zealand fix I guess and um, just have a community fix as well because when we're always on the go like the way that we usually travel we're only in each country for like one month and yes I do meet friends but it's not really enough time to make proper friendships so yeah, and now we've just arrived in North Macedonia, which is really crazy because we were living in a very tiny, small beach town and now we're in the big city here in Skopje. And yeah, it's just like the, we're feeling the contrasts of living in a small town to a city. It's really nice to see like shops and proper grocery stores again. So I'll be uploading some videos on that soon. So yeah, my next video will actually be a video that I filmed in Albania, but it's not of Albania. It was actually just more of a sit down video that I made with a couple of my friends in Saranda, Albania. And um, I decided it'd be really funny for them to react to New Zealand slang because they're American. And um, yes, that's a really cool video. I've got that coming up after this one. And then I'll be posting some North Macedonian content. So yeah, I'm really excited to get back out there and post all of our travel experiences for you guys and I'll be I'll still be doing my cost of living videos and all that kind of stuff so I hope that you guys will follow me along on this journey and also I would like to say a massive thank you for all of the people who have still subscribed to my channel which actually really surprised me because I thought that once I stopped making content that my videos would just kind of 
died down. <laughs> but actually, way more people have been watching them since I stopped, which is crazy. So thank you so much to all of the people who subscribe to my channel. It's really nice to meet you, and I hope to catch you guys in the comments. But yeah, that's it from me today, guys. I just wanted to make this a quick little update video so that all my next videos make a bit more sense. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!